Hello, I'm our face of Mars, and what we're going to do today is a tactical assessment of the United States' its vulnerabilities, its strengths, and we're going to look at the so-called migrant situation. These aren't migrants at all, they're invaders. We're going to look at this, and in this hypothetical situation, maybe three or four thousand get past the border, and disappear into the woodwork. Young men of military age. And they recruit uh, they recruit people. They have guns in place. This is hypothetical. They have guns in place and they manage to get some across the border and they go around and recruit enemies of this people to be enemies of this country. That's a hypothetical. Not saying this is actually happening. But I'm very concerned with what I'm seeing. So let's get started. This is going to surprise you, but a large proportion of the Christian uh, community will be on the side of the invaders in my hypothetical uh, scenario here. At the forefront, we have the United Church of Christ, which I expect to unanimously support the invaders and join with the bad guys coming in. I ex they are the worst I've seen. The United Church of Christ is one reason I became an agnostic. I saw what they were doing and going, you got to be kidding me. These are what's called Christians. I expect them to be solidly on the side of the invaders in my hypothetical situation. Catholic Charities is another. Uh, Catholic Church makes a lot of money bringing in illegal aliens. Michael Savage has pointed it out. And they will be pretty solidly on the side of the invaders, joining them in the fight. Now, the problem is that nobody's going to put on uniforms, so how do you tell who's who? I don't even have an answer for that. There are a lot of Hispanic people who love this country and don't want to see this happen. So you can't just say, oh, there's brown skin, I'm going to shoot at. It doesn't work like that. I don't know. But you are the militia. If you have, if you're a gun owner and you believe in the Second uh, Amendment, you are the militia. You are a civilian army that's called up in time of national emergency. Think about that. Southern Baptists once again will be solidly on the side of the enemy. This is not to say that all Christians will be. Uh I think some of them, like the Holy Rollers and so forth, and Pentecostals and such, I think they're going to say, they would say in my hypothetical situation, okay, we don't want any part of this, and a lot of them would probably join the militia in fighting an invasion, because this all stems from our vulnerabilities, which I will show later. So in my uh, tactical assessment, I would say probably 60% of Christians will join with the invaders. 40% won't. I think I'm being really generous on that, by the way. Because they'll use their uh, Bible to justify this. Next up. Next up is the Southern Poverty Law Center. This one is a lot, for sure. They'll be solidly on the side of the invaders. 100%. The ACLU, same thing. 100% anti-American. We'll side it with the invaders in this hypothetical scenario. This one really goes without saying. So, uh... 
you gotta figure they will join with the invaders. Okay, Jewish folk can't keep to themselves. My guess is, as a religion, they will not want to participate. I think we'll have some of them, at least for our allies. This site's jumping around so it can be ignored. Muslims are a tough call because there's a great many Muslims who love this country and they would never ever betray it. On the other hand, yeah, the radical ones uh, certainly would. So what I'm going to say is Muslims will be slightly on the Axis side. Most of them will be. Many of them will be. Maybe 55%, I don't know. And then you have Antifa and other George Soros based groups. Obviously, they'll be solidly on the side of the invaders. There's no argument, all these uh, leftist protesters and such. They'll be si solidly on the side of the invaders. You know, going around to these neighborhoods. Sanctuary cities. These are cities that, by definition, are run by criminals. Because it is a criminal act to harbor an illegal alien. They are run by criminals by definition. And unfortunately, the city is about 20 miles away from me, otherwise known as Rochester, New York, is a sanctuary city. So it is run by a criminal organization by definition. I mean, you can't sit there and say, we're going to harbor illegal aliens, and then say, we're law-abiding citizens. You can't do that. If you're harboring illegal aliens, you are a criminal. Plain and simple. Black and white is too easy to understand. So in this scenario, these sanctuary cities will aid and assist the invaders. Then one more, and we're going to look at some of our vulnerabilities real quick, and then that'll be it. Uh, okay, Central Americans in place. I corrected a typo, by the way, of Sanctuary. Uh, they already have there's something like 20 million in this country, illegal aliens, and most of them being Central Americans. It wouldn't be hard for an invading army to recruit them, put a gun in their hands, and start coming after us. Would not be hard at all. And you have various freedom lovers, gun lovers, backwoods types, and so on and so forth. They're not going to want to see invaders on their soil. We, I think we pretty much understand what's going on. I'm going to go over, we're going to switch to the maps and show some of our vulnerabilities here. This is one of the uh, major vulnerabilities we have. So we have all these freight trains running all over this country with very little in the way of security. And God only knows... Uh, who's on these trains. Well, uh, sufficient to say there's an organization of freight train riders, and they hide out in boxcars and such, and they run all over the country. Nothing saying that invaders couldn't do that. They go into the cities and recruit all the groups that I just talked about. Nothing saying that at all, that they couldn't. So that's one of the vulnerabilities. Once they're past Mexico and they're wandering around all over this country, they're going in to our major cities recruiting these illegal aliens, especially Central American ones, and basically putting guns in their hands. This is what I'm scared of. And here's a pictorial map of Greyhound. This is another thing, bus lines. This one's a little less worrisome for the simple reason that uh, the bus lines are a little more secure, so 
might be hard to sneak in there with bags of guns and that type of thing. They might not have to. They might have them in place. This is an invasion, folks. We're at war. And we're right back to this map here with the sanctuary cities. See, we're being betrayed from traitors within. I don't care if you hang your moniker, you call yourself a Christian, or the atheist of the ACLU, or whatever. If you're supporting illegal immigration, then you are a traitor. It's as simple as that. You're a traitor, and in the old days, be put up against the wall. I guess times have changed. And hopefully Trump is trying to crack down on these uh, criminally run organizations, and we'll, hopefully we'll get some something done. The tactical situation is not very good if we had this type of scenario. There's supposed to be a third caravan headed our way. They're just going to keep coming. So something is definitely going on, and you and I are going to have to figure something out as far as defending ourselves. Because if this does go bad, it's going to be worse than you can imagine. And you're not going to be able to tell who your friends are and who your enemies are in many cases. To recap, we're being... We're going to be basically betrayed by a lot of people in this hypothetical invasion scenario. Which is hy I'm saying hypothetical because I can't be certain this is actually going to happen. But the possibility exists. Obviously so, because we have these columns of mostly young men of military age headed our way. Possibly 15, 20,000 strong, who knows. And if they have assets in place, we're in a lot of trouble. Because we're going to be forced out into the hills and for the most part, in the cities. Now, the sanctuary cities, a lot of there are a lot of people that are going to object to this, and some of them will doubtless fight back. I'm talking about the scumbags who run these cities, like Rochester, for instance, is obviously a criminal organization since they're a sanctuary city. That's the way it is, folks. That's my tactical assessment. Feel free to distribute this video. You don't have to worry about copyright. Don't worry about copyright. Just distribute it freely. I don't care about copyright stuff. You just take it and use it. Sell it. I don't care what you do with it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching, and oil up your guns if you have to.